Hi, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Dr. Jameson, and I'll be hosting you today as we think about how we read picture graphs. Have you ever wondered what is data and how we use it? Or maybe you have wondered, what does data tell us? One way you can look at data is in a picture graph. Today we're going to learn ways to read a picture graph. Take a look at this graph. What do you notice? I notice some bicycles. I notice looks like people. What do you wonder about? I'm wondering what this graph might mean. You might notice four bicycles, two scooters, and three runners. This is a picture graph, and each image represents one. Picture graphs are graphs that use pictures to show and compare information. Picture graphs uses different pictures to represent the different categories. What do you notice now? What do you wonder? What new information was added? So how does this change your thinking? Considering new information, what do you think this graph might be about? You might notice riding a scooter is revealed. What do you notice now? What are you wondering about now? What new information was added? How does this change your thinking? Consider this new information. What do you think this graph might be about? I think you might have a good idea now. What do you notice now? What do you wonder about? Do you see the new information that was added? How has this changed your thinking? What do you think this graph might be about? What questions could you ask about this graph? At the top of the graph, you can see the title, Favorite Activities Outside. At the bottom of the graph, it shows favorite activities, riding bikes, riding a scooter, playing tag. Take a moment to look at these two graphs. What is the same but different? Remember, same means just like the two smiley face, they look exactly alike. And different is like the smiley face and the heart, they look different. What do you notice that both graphs had when we went up with the data and the pictures or the objects is the same in each column? The picture graph is different because it has a picture for each activities. The M&M object graph has colors for each one. Picture graphs are a way to show data. We can record data using pictures. 
What is one question you have about picture graphs? What is one thing you learned about picture graphs? So today, we took a brief look at how a picture graph can make data easy to read. I challenge you now to think about how you might use picture graphs to help organize some data that you have at home. I hope you have a great mathematical day and keep on counting. I'm Dr. Jameson.